as you can see, I found so many fun pieces at the thrift store and I really am excited. Going thrifting now is making me really excited about garage sales because I feel like I haven't been able to find as many things at the thrift store as I would find like at a garage sale or like the variety of things that I would find at a garage sale. So um, going thrifting lately has been getting me excited for garage sales, but it is going to be several months before we have a garage sale come along in my area. All right, so let's just jump right into the haul so I can share with you everything that I got. So as you saw in the video, I went thrifting with Keely and my mom on New Year's Day, and it was a really fun day um, because we were able to go thrifting and everything was 50% off. Well, all of the clothing was 50% off, and then I had a 25% off coupon as well. So we were able to get a ton of stuff that day, but most of what we got was stuff for Keely. I really didn't find many things that I wanted to add to my wardrobe, so I let Keely use my 50 or my 25% off coupon because I'm a nice sister. Um, and so she was able to get some stuff. She wasn't able to film a haul of it, unfortunately for you guys, but I will share with you what I got that day. All right, so the first thing that I got is this yellow top, and Keely actually found it first, and she thought about getting it for herself, but then she was like, no, you can have it. So it's from the brand Rose and Olive, and of course it has a peplum. It's so cute. I don't typically pick up yellow for my wardrobe, so I just thought it was like a pretty pop of color that I could try. And of course, I'll wear it with some cute slacks. I thought that this pale yellow was really pretty, and it was $3 and half off, so it was only $1.50. This next piece I think is really fun, and I'm looking forward to wearing it on a cozy Saturday, crafting, or a day when I'm working on my planner. It just sort of feels creative to me, and I don't know why, it's, it's just a sweatshirt. But it's from Loft. It was $4 half off, so it was only two bucks. And it's just this really cute slouchy um, sweatshirt with it, this like ruffled detail on the arm, which I think just adds a little extra like feminine flair to it. And I really like that. Um, I like having those added pieces of surprise, not surprise, but like those added touches to your wardrobe that are like, oh, that's pretty, that's cute. So I'm excited to wear this while I'm crafting and just lounging around the house and working. It does have some pilling on it. So I'm going to try to use my depiller to clean it up a bit just because it is a kind of like shaggy looking. Um, but for two bucks, I thought that was a really good price. So I can't wait to wear that. The next thing I found is this really pretty light blue top. It's like a longer dress, sort of. I think I have something very similar in navy. So if it has a red tag at the Salvation Army, it's only $1.50. So I was able to pick this up for $1.50. And I know I have a very similar top, like dress thing in navy. But this one has like the, sh I think it's called like a shark bite almost, I think it's what it's called, where it goes up a little bit and it's longer on the sides. But I thought this was really pretty. I thought this would look cute with a pair of um, like these tan colored pants that I have. I got them at the thrift store, of course, but they're Walmart and I just love wearing them with everything. So I really like this dress. I think it's pretty, it's simple. I like this periwinkle color. Sort of like with the yellow, they're not typical colors that I go to all the time, but I thought it was pretty, and for $1.50, you can't go wrong. The next piece I got is really pretty as well. I like the color, and it's, I guess I picked a lot of things in colors that I don't typically choose, but this is like a really pretty, it's not really picking up as dark as it is in person, but it's like a green blue, and it's really deep, really pretty, and it has almost like a coral detail right through here and the sleeves are a little gathered on the side as well which I thought was like a nice little added touch probably will be like a knee length dress on me and it also has pockets as well so I think it's a pretty piece and I think it'll the color will look nice with my hair being darker right now um, but I just think it's I think it's really cute it was seven dollars and it was half off so that was also another great deal um, only only 350 for this piece. So when I'm at the thrift store, I have a hard time saying no to a couple things. I have a hard time saying no to denim. I have a hard time saying no, well like denim skirts and denim dresses. I have a hard time saying no to gingham or like buffalo check pattern things. I really, really love those styles and I have a hard time saying no to peplum. So you will see all of those in this haul. I'm just realizing that. Um, pretty much if I see any of those three styles while I'm at the thrift store, I have to pick them up. So the next thing is a denim dress. I couldn't say no, guys. It was so pretty. So it is the brand Lou Gray. It has a little button at the top. I'll button so you can get a good idea of what it actually looks like. It has like uh, almost like a tighter like neckline, which I appreciate. And then it's a long dress. It's cinched at the waist with a tie. And then it is flowy at the bottom. It has pockets on the side. And I know you're like, 
don't wear this, this is crazy, but wait until you see the back. Look at how pretty that is. So it's open in the back and it has like a crisscross across the back. What I'm thinking about doing is wearing it with like a long sleeve shirt for right now while I'm at school, but then during the summer, I can definitely wear this like with an open back um, type look. I feel like I could wear this to the farmer's market. I don't go to the farmer's market, but like I would go to a farmer's market so I can wear this. Um, but I also appreciate the length of it. It's definitely going to be a longer piece on me. It was only $7 and it was also half off. So I thought that was a really good price for this and I just think it's really pretty. I'm excited to wear it um, to school and during the summer and the spring. But then I picked up this, I think I picked this up on a completely separate thrifting day, but it is a black longer dress. It has Finley's hair all over it because I've already worn it and um, it was laying on the floor upstairs and so it definitely needs to be cleaned um, with like a limp brush. But I love it because, see I told you there's the, the buffalo check, the gingham, I can't help myself. Um, but it has these like really pretty bell sleeves. It's a little shorter in the front than in the back and I really love the bell detail in the sleeves. I think it's just a really pretty touch. Next two pieces are pieces that I would like to try doing projects with and that's sort of something that I would like to start doing on my channel is taking thrifted clothing and turning it into um, pieces of home decor or new pieces that you can wear. Um, I just think that would be really fun and a fun way for me to creatively use these pieces. Obviously wearing my wardrobe is creative but taking them and doing something else with them I think could be really fun. So I have some projects in mind for these and it also will help me to work on my sewing because I can sew I just have very limited skills still so um, that's one of my resolutions for this year is to work on on those skills so the first thing I picked up are these like velour pants I love the color it's like this really pretty teal like jewel tone but they're so soft. I think that taking the fabric from these pants could be a really fun and really easy way to make a pillow. Um, and you could make a lot of them because they're like a baggier pant. I think that this was a good investment. It was $4 and they were half off when I got them. So that it was only $2 for these pants. I just love that color, it's so pretty. So this next piece is going to be a project where I take this dress and turn it into something new. I haven't fully figured out exactly how I wanna do that yet, but I thought that it was really pretty. And there's the buffalo check. I told you I can't help myself. It's this really pretty, The I mean, the bones of it are pretty. I don't want to wear it like it is right now, but I think that it could be something really cool. So it's this buffalo check dress. It has like a smaller pattern on the side, which I'm not crazy about. Um, and on the collar, but I really like the main pattern of the dress. It has a belt that detaches, and then they have it tied, but it's actually a really long dress, and in the back it buttons up the back. So I thought I could take this, try to make something a little more form-fitting out of it, um, you know, sort of challenge myself and see what I can do with a piece like this, and um, I'm really excited to give it a try. This was $6, and it actually wasn't half off, unfortunately, but I really liked the buffalo check, so I definitely wanted to pick it up. Um, so it could be sort of like my first try at DIYing some clothing. So the last two pieces of clothing that I would like to share with you before like the stuff that I got, which I only got a couple things, um, there are two pieces for holidays. And you guys are going to think I'm crazy. Um, and let me show you the first piece because the first piece I think is acceptable and I think everybody will be okay with the first piece. So the first piece that I found is this shirt and it says jingle all the way. And I think it just came with like a pajama set. It's very comfortable, very cozy. It's Sonoma. Um, it was half off on the day I got it. It was $3.99 and half off. But I think it's pretty. I like the, the style of it. I think I'll wear it next year for the holidays. I could even take it and make it into a pillow because I really like the gray and I really like the what it says and like the design of it. So this is the first piece that I got for holidays. And the last piece that I got for holidays Okay, you know, I've talked about before how I want to bring back the teacher wearing like specific holiday vests and dresses with specific holiday themes on them, like how I want to bring that, that trend back. Well, I'm determined to do that. I'm determined to bring that trend back and I picked up my first piece to wear next Halloween. Uh, all right, here we go. Da, 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 da. If Keely was there, she would have never let me buy this. She would have demanded that I leave it at the store. I think it's super cute, and I want to bring that trend back into teacher fashion. I'm like, you know what, let's go old school. Why not, right? Here's the back. 
Look at how cute. This was definitely handmade too. I love it. It was $1.99 and it was half off today, so I only got it for 99 cents. And then Sean pointed out something. It's reversible. Oh my goodness. How cute is this pattern on this vest? I am so excited about it. I think there's something so sweet about having like specific pieces that you wear only at certain times during the year. I saw a teacher wearing this top that was like a blouse and it had like, like a Christmas lights on it or something. And I was like, that is so cute. I don't know. I just think it's, it's like you only bring it out so often and you get all excited to bring it out because it is like just worn in a very like specific time period. So I... I'm gonna bring this back and you just watch. Soon on Instagram, you're gonna be seeing all the teachers wearing this and wearing these types of things because I'm bringing it back to teacher fashion. Now the last couple things that I would like to share with you are totally different from one another. The one thing is like home organization and then the other thing is fitness. I am doing the 80 day obsession program and I started that middle of December but then I fell off of the wagon and I had lost two and a half pounds and then over Christmas and New Year I had gained two and a half pounds it is what it is I weighed in this morning and I'm like coming to terms with that right now um but it'll be fine I can get right back on but I picked up these weights at the thrift store they were listed at $9.99 and they were not going to be half off but I was like okay five dollars a weight I feel like is a good price it's an eight pound weight but then the guy at the register actually rang it up for $4.99 and then half off. So I think I paid two, oh, I think I paid $2.50 for both of these actually. But I needed an eight pound weight. I have like a two, five, and a 10. But now I have an eight. I know at some point I will need heavier than that. But um, I figured for just a couple bucks, picking up these weights was a really good deal. Um, and I never see them at the thrift store, so I thought that was a good find. Now the last thing I would like to share with you is something that I am so excited about. It feels like it was almost meant to be. I don't know, have you guys ever had that experience at the thrift store when you are looking for something or maybe you're not even really looking for something and you come across an item and it's like, okay, I'll bring it home. I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna do with it, but then like inspiration hits you or something happens later in the day and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I got that thing. That happened to me today with this piece. So let me share it with you. So at the thrift store, I found this metal organizer and I'm like, this is the perfect thing for mail. This is the perfect thing for files, really anything. I'm sort of a sucker for things like this. I really love like the, the, the organization and just how you can visually see things organized. And so I was like, this will definitely work somewhere in my craft room. And then later on in the day, my sister texted me and told me that the Happy Planner stickers are on sale at Joann's and on like a crazy sale, like the clearance ones are also buy one, get one free. And they're also 20% off of their clearance price. A lot. <laughs> I picked up several packs of those and um, they're going to fit perfectly inside of this. So I'm going to use this to organize my stickers um, that I'm going to be using in my happy planner this year. So I'm really excited that I found it. I'm glad I picked it up. It was $4.99 and the gentleman also marked this half off as well. So I thought that was a really great deal. It's very big. I just don't know where I'm going to put it. I think I'm going to have to put it on the floor. Oh wait. It fits on here. Oh man, it might have to go on here. Yes, it was meant to be. And that's it for this thrift haul and shop with me video. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything that I've been finding at the thrift store. In the comments below, let me know some of the things that you've been finding at the thrift store and let me know what you're also on the lookout for. And if you're new to my channel and haven't yet subscribed, please do. I love to share videos about thrifting and DIY and education and upcycling. So if any of those topics sound interesting to you, please make sure you hit the subscribe button below. And don't forget to like this video. Liking my videos really helps support my channel and it helps my channel grow. And I would truly appreciate your support with a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out my blog at thriftedlivingblog.com. Please follow me on Instagram at thriftedliving. And if you don't have an Instagram but would like to stay up to date with what I'm doing, you can follow me on Facebook at thriftedlivingpage. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.